Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Logic. The hasty generalization fallacy is the topic of this video. Now, what is a fallacy, you might ask? Well, a fallacy is an error or defect in an argument. Now, these 22 fallacies are covered on this channel. Now, the hasty generalization fallacy is a fallacy of weak induction, which means the premises do not provide enough support to believe the conclusion. The hasty generalization fallacy is committed when a general conclusion is drawn from a particular sample. The following illustration will provide an example. I think I have a low IQ. Ah, don't be silly, you do not. Well, take Samantha, for instance. She got an A plus on her final exam. Wow, that is pretty good. And Donna? Well, she has a 4.0 grade average. And Sally makes honor roll every year. Wow, I wish I could do that. Every woman in this entire campus is smarter than me. Well, I think you're smart. Aw, thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a closer look at what just happened. Cindy's argument is that Samantha, Donna, and Sally is smarter than she is, and therefore every woman on campus is smarter than she is. But Cindy's argument is fallacious because Samantha, Donna, and Sally are probably not an accurate representation of the entire group of women students. The sample is not randomly selected, and it's too small. Remember, a hasty generalization proceeds from a statement about a particular sample to a claim about the entire group. It's a fallacy of weak induction, which means the premise does not provide enough support to believe the conclusion. See our other videos on logic, comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.